When you live in a small house or apartment, then you want to create a sense of space in that small area. One of the best ways to optimize spaces within your home is to go to vertical. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and here are 24 vertical space-saving ideas you need to try. One, when you have a really small kitchen, when you need to make use of the space you have, one way to do so is by installing floating shelves on existing cabinets. They not only add a lot of storage space, but they also free up space on your kitchen counter. Two, over-the-door shoe racks are such versatile items. They can be used for so many storage solutions. When you have limited pantry space, you can hook one of these racks onto the door of your pantry, and there you go. Additional space for your supplies. The same thing can be done in bathrooms, as well as bedrooms or even studies. Three, when you have limited closet space, you can go vertical. All you need for this simple DIY project is a chain and some spray paint to pretty it up. You'll be astounded by how much space you can save by going vertical in your closet. Four, another way to save some space is by storing your pots and pans on your kitchen wall. If it's a small space, you can hang your pots vertically. But if you have a longer wall, you can hang your pots across the wall up high. Five, when you have a small bedroom, then one simple trick to save some space is by hanging a second shower curtain rod in your shower. You can hang your toiletries from that rod. Six, a lot of times vertical spaces inside kitchen cabinets are wasted. You can more than double your storage space and reduce clutter simply by adding shelves inside your cabinets. Add a few hooks so that you hang your cups from the shelves and free up even more space inside your kitchen cabinets. Seven, maximize narrow empty spaces by installing a sliding shelf in your kitchen. For example, you can use the tiny space between the refrigerator and the cabinet wall and put in a sliding shelf there. By doing so, you will create a huge amount of space where you can store your canned goods and spices. Eight, you love drinking wine, but your tiny kitchen has no space for you to store your wine bottles. Well, you can make your own wall-mounted wine rack using pieces of wood and bolts. Not only do you save space, but it can also add a lot of character to your home. Nine, one really innovative way to use vertical space is by gluing the lids of your storage jars to the underside of your wall cabinets. You simply screw on your jars and you have so much more space and have created more storage. 10. You can create a lot more space in your house by building a vertical storage unit. The lower drawers slide out and act as stairs for the higher ones. Not only is it a space-saving piece of furniture, but it can also be a talking point at parties. 11. If you're a bag lover with little closet space, then this hack is perfect for you. Install vertical coat hooks inside your closet. All you need is a slat of wood and some hooks and you can have your DIY project done in no time. 12. You can create more space and beautify your home by mounting small and pretty shopping bags on your walls. They are great for storing small things like stationery, cards, stickers, accessories, and so on. 13. One of the things that takes up a lot of space is shoes. Create a vertical storage solution for your shoes and you will free up a lot of space. You can either buy these storage racks from the store or make it a DIY project. 14. Use the back of your closet or bedroom door to store your accessories. You won't believe how much space you can save by doing so. All you need are some IKEA kitchen rails nailed to the back of your door. Add hooks to these rails and you instantly have a more organized area. 15. When you live in a studio apartment with hardly any space, then the Murphy bed is the king. You can really save space with this piece of furniture. It's a little heavy on the wallet, but this is one item that is really value for money. 
16. We tend to ignore corners in our houses. However, if you add floating shelves to those neglected corners, you can create more storage space. Get the clutter off the floor and change the look of your home. 17. You can instantly clear up floor space by installing a shoe peg organizer in your hallway closet. You can change the look of your hallway closet with this neat trick. 18. You can push the clothes rod in your closet as high as possible and then use the space created to move your dresser into the closet. This will free up a lot of space in a tiny bedroom while you increase the utility of your closet. 19. You can make use of the vertical space in your home by mounting a pegboard on the wall of your room and using it to store your craft supplies. Pretty and practical. 20. If you have very little storage in a small bathroom, then you need to look to the walls to create storage. You can install a pretty wine rack on your bathroom's wall to create instant storage for your towels. It's a great space saver and it also looks really good. 21. Most of us ignore the space above our doors. That is unutilized space that just begs for attention. Install a hanging shelf above your doors and store your stuff in attractive storage boxes. This will get clutter off your floor and also give character to your room. 22. Don't waste the space that is available on your cabinet doors. You can use that space for more storage. For example, you can install light plastic storage boxes to neatly store your bathroom supplies. These boxes can be simply attached to the cabinet doors using double-sided tape. 23. You can create a fresh food wall in your kitchen where you can store your potatoes, onions, or fruit. This will free up counter space and it will take up very little space. All you need are a few metal baskets which you can then install on the side of a cabinet or a free wall. 24. If you have a really tiny bathroom, go vertical. You can build a really narrow but tall storage closet to put away your stuff. This is a really effective way of utilizing the limited space in your bathroom and still keeping it looking attractive. So, what do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.